Hello everyone, Jobexi here, and welcome to Let's Play the Talos Principle. Alright, well let's go find ourselves a puzzle. Wait a minute. Okay, so that's, that's actually a puzzle space. Uh, let's just do this one. Suicide mission. Hope it doesn't sound fun. Things seem a bit glitchy. Doesn't seem like it's on. Oh no, I made a poor choice. No. I'm jamming it from back here. Okay. Okay, so turn on the gun. They don't interact with each other. Okay, they do interact with each other and kill each other. Lots of smoke. Good! That's how that works. Okay. Cool! Picked Good. up on that one. You are learning, as is your purpose. But your choices must be your own. Therefore, I will not guide you. Unless it is necessary. Okay. Um, I will not guide you unless it is necessary. Of course, he's been guiding us this whole time. And it's him who decides whether it's necessary or not. So... I don't really know. I don't really know how far that goes. Um, hmm. It's interesting. Because he also says, your purpose is to learn. Which, of course, is his opinion. Uh, that's a guidance toward us. Um, oh, look at the gate! I want to get as close as I can to it without going through it. No. If you take a look, it's got hexagons with different... Uh, it looks like different pieces. Or at least it did. It looks like something else now. Well, it's definitely hexagons. All right. Hall of Windows. Um, it's weird that the area keeps glitching like that. But I need that to... Alright, actually... Probably need to jam this. Like to... Nope. Yep, that was smart. I don't even know what that is. I'm jamming over there. Good try, Javaxi. Is the solution? Cool. All right, so that's complete. How many pieces are here? I think it was only three. <coughs> it wasn't as many as the previous area. There's an L. Maybe it's this one. Nope. I keep seeing weird graphical anomalies, and I don't like that one. Whoa, what are you? Whoa. Recording number 23. That 
It's really cool. I don't think he's interactable, though. Okay, so I don't know whether that's a hint of things to come. Or what. I just want to find... I've got about 12 minutes before I have to pick my wife up from work. I want to find the last puzzle. There it is. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. I need to go in there. I mean, if I could jam things from like a billion miles away, really no reason I wouldn't. The puzzles are definitely getting harder. Which is refreshing, actually. Um, my buddy Thragbar and I tend to call these puzzles uh, Law of Conservation of uh, in Portal 2, be the Law of Conservation of Cubes, where you try to sneak things through as many emancipation <laughs> grids as you can uh, to get things where you're not technically supposed to have them. Uh, there's a star there. I don't know what that means yet, but I'm, I'm sure I will at some point. It looks like I can solve puzzle A, which I think is at the far end of this hall. I think. Yeah, there's puzzle A. These are uh, refreshing little uh, breaks from uh, the normal type of puzzle solving we do. Oh dear. Are there any more of those scriptures? I guess, I don't think we've seen any in the temple. Oh, that's a button. Zero or negative one? Is this an elevator? You have proven yourself worthy, child. And this gate shall be forever open to you. Seek now the other worlds I have given you, that you may attain even greater mastery and bring glory to your kind. But wow. remember, you must not ascend the great tower, for it shall bring death and the end of your generations. Okay, so if we are a, um, if, uh, if we are a robot, um, and they're actually using the genetics, genetics, the, the computer code of this robot and mixing it with the, this is called machine learning, the, the other genetics, the computer code of other robots. You would take the ones that were successful and breed those bits of code together to get very, 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 very successful robots. Um, if we're still talking in the concept of computer code, that it makes sense that, uh, it would in fact just be the end of the generations as in they wouldn't that would be considered a failure and, and that robot wouldn't breed any further um suddenly it's very industrial here um which seems strange to me because just a moment ago when we were downstairs it was an ancient looking temple beautiful for its age um I'm not saying, like, oh, you look good for your age. No, but be beautiful because of its uh, ancientness. Um, so I don't, I don't know. I don't really want to use that computer terminal yet. 
Whoa, that would be the great tower we're designed not to ascend. All right, let me go, let me go, um, that's very strange. Okay, so floor negative one, floor zero. So that would be the basement, I guess. Uh, when I come back, I'm going to utilize this computer and we're going to see what it has in store. And uh, then we'll go from there. Alrighty, folks, let's get right back into it. We've, we've uh, whew, we're right outside of that tower that we're not allowed to ascend. Very interesting. Oh, there's a building over there as well. Well, first, I suppose we ought to uh, take a look at the computer. Oh, part two of the certification program has not been generated. Sure. Since all human beings are persons, and some human beings have psychological capacity similar to animals, some animals are therefore persons. Sure. <coughs> we can only agree or disagree broadly, is interesting. Person is under no authority other than that to which they consent. Well, yes. I mean, you can find yourself subjected to an authority, but put yourself in the situation to get there by your consent. So, and that, if we're talking about layers of reality, there's a greater veiling, you know, at every step, but at the, at the outermost level, it involves free will for you to get to where you are. The quality of life of persons ought to be maximized. At, sure. Value is discovered. Sure. Rather than inherent? Yes. Persons deserve the talents they were born into. If they want them, I don't really much care for the subject of deserving this. The liberty of persons ought to be maximized, definitely. <coughs> Value is created. Uh, yeah. Uh, you will receive a notification when you use a profile. Bit. So I guess I could become an admin now. Let's look at Athena 2. The great bronze bulls pull the carriage forward. This is the Council of Zeus. Mighty bursts of steam issuing from their nostrils. Finally, they came to the gates at the top of the hill, I imagine. Um, here assembled were all the many generations of the gods and demigods and souls of mortals, steel and bronze and irons and memory of flesh. The clouds parted far beneath, revealing the beautiful plains of Macedon, where... <coughs> great gleaming cities had once stood. Let's take a look at Rome. Fall the Roman Empire, a dialectal purge. Homo sum humani nihil ame alienum puto. But interesting as such perspectives of the decline and ultimate dissolution of the Roman Empire may be, they ultimately put too much emphasis on individual catastrophic events. The real question must be asked is why the Roman Empire, which had dealt with so many threats and catastrophes over the years, was so incapable of responding to these later problems. We must investigate the division of wealth, the structure of government, the location of power in Roman society. Had the Republic survived or been restored, would Rome still have fallen? What was the role of debt and slavery in creating the conditions for what we now call the Dark Ages? <clears throat> Rome, the saying goes, was not built in a day, and it didn't fall in a day either. To register for the class, email somebody who cares <laughs> about that. Well, that's very interesting. And it, it's uh, very interesting indeed. I didn't. I didn't realize we'd be confronted with the tower so early. What's this over here? Oh, this is another temple. <coughs> Excuse me. This temple appears to have red level red difficulty level things and we require uh, certain pieces to get this I imagine this would be temple B then 
But there are necessarily other temples. Uh, not necessarily in this game, but I mean in, in the general context of what we're talking about. Was there a computer in the gallery of B? Oh no, this is B. Alright, let's take a look at this first. Okay, so we've got these puzzles online. <clears throat> Book of Osiris. The Book of the Scribe of Osiris, sometimes also referred to as the Book of the Journey of, to Aru, is the ancient Egyptian text discovered in the excavation of <coughs> Oxyrhynchus, or Oxyrhynchus. Um, it has caused a certain degree of controversy among Egyptologists. What doesn't cause controversy among Egyptologists? I mean, seriously. As some argue that it's the classic funerary text of the Book of the Coming Forth by Day, while others believe it to be a poetic work not intended to be understood literally. The book tells the story of a dying man who asks a scribe about the afterlife. The scribe, a servant of Osiris, describes how the man's ka, life force, will become separated from his ba, personality, and how he will have to reunite the two and become an ach, living intellect. Passing a series of trials in the duat, which is the underworld, in order to reach the paradise of Aru. Unlike similar texts, the book of the scribe of Osiris fo focuses less on giving advice or... A recent study, Karnahan and Hassan, suggests that this that the text may have been intended as a philosophical commentary on the world of the living through the allegory of the Duat. It remains unclear whether this was the intent of the original pre-Alexandrian author or a result of later translation into Greek. The earlier manuscript, which is considered to be more uh, authentic, is too fragmentary to provide answers, though perhaps further excavation may... something. Oxyrhynchus. The great irony of the Oxyrhynchus papyri is that a vital source of information about the ancient world exists only because of a garbage dump. While the Library of Alexandria burned at the hands of fanatics and conquerors, depriving us of uh, unimaginable insights into history, philosophy, and art, the papers carelessly thrown away by the citizens at Oxyrhynchus survived to the modern day. And though it is true that a great deal of what we know today is because of the conscious efforts of individual or individuals and organizations such as spectacular translation and preservation from work done in, during the Islamic Golden Age. So much more is simply the result of coincidence and luck. We've lost the texts that the ancients considered to be absolutely essential, while utterly trivial, even plagiarized work has survived unharmed. We want, so if we want our descendants to remember more than glittering emo vampires and auto-tuned teen pop stars, we have to invest in to make sure that... It's definitely an interesting theory. I, I, I sense a little bit, perhaps, of the... Uh, the author, you know, maybe talking directly in this game. <coughs> maybe, perhaps, you know. Oh, what, what what's in uh, Temple B? It looks like uh, mostly yellow, some red, and uh, very few green pieces. So that's interesting. I'm just going to go back over here and make sure I didn't miss a computer. Like I said, I like to be excuse me, thorough. There is a computer I missed. Ooh, heaven and hell. The mind is its own place, and in itself can make heaven and hell, a hell of heaven, oh no, a heaven of hell, a hell of heaven, what matter where if I still be the same, and what I should be all but less than he whom thunder hath made greater, here at least we shall be free, the Almighty hath not built us here, or no, hath not built here for his envy, will not drive us hence, here where we, we may reign secure, and in my choice, to reign is worth ambition, though in hell, better to reign in hell than serve in heaven. That's definitely a perspective. Let's talk about hell for a second. <clears throat> the ancient tradition that the world would be consumed in fire at the end of 6,000 years is true, as I have heard from hell. For the cherub with his flaming sword is hereby commanded to leave his guard at the tree of life, and when he does, the whole creation will be consumed, and appear infinite and holy, whereas now it appears finite and corrupt. This will come to pass by an improvement of sensual enjoyment. <coughs> <coughs> But first, the notion that a man has a body distinct from his soul is to be expunged. 
This I shall do by printing in the infernal method by corrosives, in which hell are salut salutary and medicinal, melting a pair of surfaces away and displaying the infinite which was hid. Uh, the Marriage of Heaven and Hell by William Blake. <clears throat> Interesting indeed. The uh, creators of this game are clearly <clears throat> very well read. I realize that there's a great tower over here. Thank you so very much for watching this episode of Let's Play the Talos Principle. If you like what you see, you can click this button right here to be taken to the playlist. You can click my name to be taken to my channel where you can check out my other content. Or you can click subscribe if you like what you see to be notified when I produce more excellent content. Thanks so very much for watching, and I will see you in the comments.